Well, looks like we're about to have some puppies. Miss Nittany's pushing, her water's broken, and we are about to have puppy number one. Puppy. And she's our little girl. She latched on beautifully right away. And she looks like her mama. Definitely will have a wavier coat though. Good job, nanny girl. Good job. Next one is close. I can see the sack. Stay tuned. We don't know how many she's going to have. I just gave Nittany after her last pup. Another oral cow plus, which she was not upset about. And we're 15 minutes post first, pushing out the second. He is doing so good. You're doing so good, Mama. So, so good. She, this is her first litter and she's already acting like a champ, aren't ya? A sweet girl. It's pushing. Getting close. Getting close. Moving on her baby. And pushing out the next one. Here it comes. One out of two, Lucas. This one looks a little darker, maybe. It's hard to tell in there. This one's butt first. Good girl. Finish pushing her out. There you go. Try not to get too involved right away. Let her do her thing. Good, we have placenta. So we have a little boy. Orange color. He's beautiful. He has a white chest. So now we just wait for some more. He's latched on and doing really well. I'm going to help this little girl get latched back on again. Good job, Nittany. So here we have a case where mom chewed the cord a little too short too aggressively so I had to put on some styptic powder and apply pressure to this puppy because it was losing a good amount of blood but it looks like it stopped so that's why this kind of stuff is so important to have on hand because you don't know when this will happen and you don't want your puppy to bleed out but he's look how beautiful he is and he's doing just fine so a lot of times mom just gets aggressive with the cord trying to get it short and they get it too short Mom, stop that. Stop kissing me. <laughs> All right, I think we're good. All right, now no more biting at it. This is the powder that I have on hand for when I have a bleeding cord. And I just do a pinch of it on and apply pressure for a minute or two, and that's it. So that goes in my cart with all the other goodies. See, I have my Oral Cal Plus. I have... Um, Nature Mate, if we have a, it's a colostrum supplement, if we have a puppy that needs a little boost. Got my um, scissors and hemostat, some alcohol, my gloves, some more bulb syringes, pads, and towels. It's very important to keep your puppy dry and get them nursing as soon as you can. Um, but we just will use these um, flower sack towels for that and then I change the pads in between each puppy so we keep our space clean so there's that well that's been a fun and eventful few hours it is 4 30 and I am pretty sure we are done um I had Nittany up, palpated her, 
stomach. I don't feel anything left. She's very relaxed and the puppies are nursing. So I think we are done with five puppies. We have three girls and two boys. They were born in the order of um, at 1245 um, this afternoon, we had the pink collar female. She weighed 14.3 ounces, so she was our big girl. At 102, we had the orange male at 11.3 ounces. At 141, we had the green male at 12.6 ounces. At 205, we had the purple female at 10.9 ounces. She's our small one. And at 259, we had the yellow girl, it's 12.7. So they are all doing fabulous. Um, we're really excited. Stay tuned for um, individual introductions and litter theme names coming soon.